Dear students, in this episode, I will be talking to you about the importance of vitamin C. It is very important to understand the functional role of ascorbic acid in human physiology. Ascorbic acid is one of the most essential water soluble nutrient involved in various physiological functions. One of the well known function of ascorbic acid is its role in the synthesis of collagen. Delayed wound healing and the failure of the fractures to repair are considered as the most classical symptoms of scurvy occurring due to vitamin C deficiency. It is a very strong reducing agent and can readily oxidize reversibly to dehydroascorbic acid. Ascorbic acid is known to react with various chemicals, metal ions and oxidation products. Dehydroascorbic acid and an intermediate product monodehydroascorbic acid would serve to function as cycling redox couples in several membrane electrochemical potential. It is also known to play an integral role in neurochemical reactions involving electron transport. Many chemicals as well as enzymatic reactions including the synthesis of neurotransmitters and hormones are known to utilize ascorbic acid for their optimum functioning. It is also been suggested to function as a neuromodulator. It protects cellular components from oxidative damage which may be accounted for its excellent reducing properties. It also helps to scavenge harmful free radicals and oxygen derived species such as hydroxyl radicals, hydrogen peroxide and singlet oxygen. The pro-oxidant activity of ascorbic acid is considered to be very beneficial in stimulating certain biochemical reactions. Other functions that are mainly attributed to its pro-oxidant property are its antiviral and bactericidal activity. After studying this module, you would be able to enumerate the discovery of the vitamin, learn the chemical properties, major food sources, modes of digestion and absorption and its tissue stores. Let us get to know about the history. During the 15th century, the condition scurvy was found to be dreaded among seamen and explorers who were forced to subsist on a diet comprising dried beef and biscuits for several months. Scurvy was first diagnosed among the crusaders during the sieges of numerous European cities. It was first demonstrated as a dietary deficiency disease by a Scott physician James Lind. In the year 1972, he published his findings on scurvy which had also included the feeding trials conducted among seamen. They were supplemented vinegar, sea water or two oranges and one lemon on daily basis. The group which had received citrus fruits showed faster recovery. Prior to this, several reports had also implicated that the condition can be treated through dietary measures. But this was misinterpreted as a medicinal benefit rather than dietary effect. Barlow has been credited with the discovery of infantile scurvy in 1883. Autopsy studies have confirmed the presence of three pathological changes namely generalized or localized subperiosteal hemorrhage, separation of the epiphyseal cartilages from the shafts of long bones and swollen bleeding gums if already the teeth have been erupted. During infancy, the growth will be much more rapid. Collagen formation is known to occur at a much faster rate in skeletal system and thus any impairment in this region could be readily identified. The major defect in scurvy is the lack of synthesis of connective tissue fibers. The antiscorbitic factor was first revealed in early 1930s. An acidic carbohydrate compound was isolated from foods such as lemons, cabbage and adrenal glands and was designated as hexuronic acid in the early 1928. But its major antiscorbitic properties went unrecognized till the identification of ascorbic acid. The laboratory investigations on the chemical synthesis of vitamin C clearly define that the vitamin C antiscorbitic factor, hexuronic acid and ascorbic acid are all one and the same. Moving on to its structure, 
The chemical formula of vitamin C is C6H8O6. It was isolated by Zent Georgi. Initially, it was called as hexuronic acid but was later changed to L-ascorbic acid due to its healing effect on scurvy. It is a water-soluble ketolactone having two ionizable hydroxyl groups. Let us study about its chemical properties. The compound contains six carbon atoms which are related to the monosaccharide glucose. The compound is quite stable to acid but can be easily destroyed by other factors like oxidation, light, alkali and heat, particularly when iron and copper are present. Pure ascorbic acid is a white, odorless crystalline substance with a melting point of 192 degrees Celsius. It is a very powerful reducing agent which mainly acts upon silver nitrate, potassium permanganate, iodine and many other organic substances. It is a freely soluble in water, it is partially soluble in ethanol and is highly insoluble in most non-polar lipid solvents. The crystalline compound when kept dry and without exposing to light is said to be stable for a considerable length of period. The dehydroascorbic acid which is the oxidized form of ascorbic acid is also known to have vitamin C activity. Whereas the oxidation product of dehydroascorbic acid does not exert vitamin C activity. Dehydroascorbic acid is oxidized further both rapidly and irreversibly at a pH level of more than 4. The presence of traces of heavy metal ions namely copper acts as catalysts. Oxalic acid and L-threonic acid are the end products obtained from the above chemical reaction. Vitamin C is readily prone to oxidation because it is a reducing agent which is reported to have antioxidant property. Most mammals are capable of synthesizing vitamin C from glucose. But humans lack the enzyme gulonolactone oxidase which is essentially needed to catalyze one of the steps involved in this process. Hence, humans have to obtain vitamin C by the natural richest sources. Not only humans, even animals like monkey, guinea pigs, Indian fruit eating bat and red vented bulbul need to obtain vitamin C by consuming the vitamin rich substances. Among plant kingdom, during the process of ripening, vitamin C gets accumulated which is generally synthesized within the plant cells with the available natural glucose. Now let us study about its major dietary sources. It is known to can occur widely among plant foods, especially among fresh fruits and vegetables, particularly in green leafy vegetables. Amla is one of the richest source of vitamin C, others such as guava, orange and lime are also known to contain significantly good amount of vitamin C. Drumstick leaves and agathi are also reported to contain appreciably higher amounts of vitamin C. The vitamin C content in meat, milk, cereals and pulses are known to be very negligible. However, when dry legumes and beans are subjected to germination, vitamin C is synthesized. Sprouted green gram has been estimated to contain nearly three times more vitamin C in comparison to sprouted Bengal gram. During the process of germination, about 17 to 20 mg vitamin C per 100 gram is synthesized. Vitamin C is usually destroyed when fresh fruits or vegetables are subjected to various processing techniques such as heating, drying, canning, etc. An exception is amla fruit. This could be due to its high acidity level and higher vitamin C content. Apart from this, it is also known to contain certain substances which have been reported to exert partial protection from being degraded upon heating or drying. 
minor losses of ascorbic acid might occur when citrus fruit juices and tomato juices are canned. Freezing is not known to have any detrimental effect on vitamin C content of stored fruit or vegetable and extensive drying of vegetables and their further storage is known to accelerate the loss of ascorbic acid. In the presence of copper and iron, it oxidizes rapidly while aluminium is known to have least effect. Hence, foods that are cooked in copper vessels tend to lose ascorbic acid. Alkalis would readily destroy vitamin C but is reported to be fairly stable in weak acid solutions. Hence, the addition of baking soda to a cooking medium could be considered to have a deleterious effect. The process of steam cooking has been reported to cause relatively small amount of losses. Several measures can be adopted in order to maximize the vitamin C content of food materials which is as follows. Any fruit or vegetable has to be harvested at the peak of their maturity. Harvested produce must be kept in a cool and moist place. Direct exposure to air and sunlight should be avoided. Do not soak cut fruit and vegetables in water for prolonged periods. Use minimum amount of water for cooking. While cutting any fruit or vegetables, the pieces should be as large as possible. Fruits must be consumed immediately once they are cut. As far as possible, avoid making juices or macerating fruit or vegetable. All vegetable based preparations should be consumed immediately after cooking. Consume fruits and vegetables in fresh raw form for obtaining maximum amount of vitamin C. Moving on to its absorptive mechanism, ascorbic acid is absorbed from the diet mainly by active transport and passive diffusion process. Dehydroascorbic acid which is the oxidized form of vitamin C is known to be better absorbed than its reduced form such as ascorbate or ascorbic acid. The enteric absorption of this vitamin has been estimated to be relatively high which is about 80 to 90 percent especially when the dietary intakes are low. But a marked reduction has been observed when intakes exceed 1 gram per day. When the intakes are higher, the process becomes saturated. With an intake of 180 milligram, an average absorption would be 70 percent. Absorption tends to decrease from 50 percent down to 16 percent when the intakes are in the range of 1.5 to 12 gram per day. Upon absorption, ascorbic acid is circulated freely in plasma, leukocytes and RBC. Subsequently, it enters all tissues with a maximum concentration in the range of 68 to 86 micromoles per liter. Limited intestinal and renal tubular absorption are considered as the major factors influencing the total body pool size of ascorbate. A maximum level of 20 mg per kg body weight would be expected to reach when the total pool size is around 1.5 gram. Transport It is generally transported in the plasma in its reduced form that is ascorbic acid in free solution. Cellular uptake mainly takes place through glucose transporter and a specifically designated active transport system. Each of these systems moves dehydroascorbic acid into the cells. Upon entering the cell, it is readily reduced to ascorbate. The glucose transporting system is considered to be not very fast as the specific system. Both insulin and glucose are known to act as stimulators and inhibitors during the process of transportation. Thus, in diabetic patients with a high blood glucose level, it is generally being observed that they usually show high plasma levels and low levels of dehydroascorbic acid at cellular level. Dehydroascorbic acid is primarily concentrated in many vital organs such as adrenals, brain and eye. 
the cellular deficiency of vitamin C resulting due to hyperglycemia could cause oxidative stress in cells and may become a major contributing factor for increased risk of developing atherosclerotic diseases. Let us learn about its metabolism. The in vivo ascorbic acid oxidation is assisted by the two successive losses of single electrons resulting in the formation of free radical monodehydroascorbic acid. This intermediary product of metabolism would be oxidized further to form dehydroascorbic acid. The oxidized product further undergoes irreversible hydrolysis to yield 2,3-diketo-1-glonic acid in a subsequent process. This undergoes decarboxylation to produce carbon dioxide and several number of 5 carbon fragments such as xylose and xylonic acid. It can even be oxidized to form oxalic acid and huge number of 4 carbon fragments like trionic acid. In addition to this, the vitamin can be further converted to ascorbic acid to sulfate. It is suggested that ascorbic acid may also react with tocopheroxyl or urate radicals for the regeneration of each of the reduced species. Such mechanisms would help in extending the well-established antioxidant role of vitamin C along with metabolic recycling of other antioxidant substances. Excretion Excess amount of vitamin C is excreted through the kidneys. This in turn helps to conserve the vitamin at plasma levels in the range of 46 to 86 micromoles per liter via a saturable sodium dependent reabsorption process. The principal metabolites such as oxalate are found to present in urine irrespective of whatever the amount ingested. The excretion of ascorbic acid in an unchangeable form is thought to increase when daily intake increases from 80 to 200 milligram. When the intake exceeds 30 to 180 milligram per day, the urinary excretion is found to rise rapidly. Distribution. The distribution is said to be not uniform throughout the body. In humans, highest concentrations are encountered in adrenal and pituitary glands. Eyes, kidneys, liver, spleen and other parts of the brain are reported to contain substantial concentrations. The ocular tissues of primate species are reported to contain 10 to 50 times higher vitamin C than those found in plasma. Thus, it may exert a protective action against the harmful effects of light. Since vitamin C is a well-known antioxidant nutrient, it promotes the inactivation of superoxide molecules that are generated when macula is exposed to light. Gastric juice contains approximately 3 to 4 times higher level of ascorbate than those in plasma pool. A lower concentration of ascorbate in the gastric juice is associated with gastritis. Under this condition, an elevated level of dehydroascorbate may be present. Now let us summarize today's episode about ascorbic acid. Ascorbic acid is one of the most important water soluble vitamin. It is known to play a wide variety of physiological functions. One of the well known functions is its role in collagen synthesis. It is a very strong reducing agent. It can also function as a pro-oxidant and a free radical scavenger. Through this particular function, it helps to minimize the damaging activity occurring through reactive oxygen species. Ascorbic acid is absorbed from the diet mainly by active transport and passive diffusion processes. Dehydroascorbic acid, which is the oxidized form of vitamin C, is known to be better absorbed than its reduced form such as ascorbate or ascorbic acid. It is generally transported in the plasma in its reduced form that is ascorbic acid in free solution. 
that is ascorbic acid in free solution. Cellular uptake mainly takes place through glucose transporter and a specifically designated active transport system. Each of these systems moves dehydroascorbic acid into the cells. Excess amount of vitamin C is excreted through the kidneys. Hence, it can be said that to have effective antioxidant potential in the body, it is necessary to consume sufficient amounts of ascorbic acid containing food substances.